it's Mrs. Ali with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy and I have a new art project for you. Enjoy! Today we're going to draw a pirate ship. So you need a pencil and a paper and then if you have coloring supplies you can color after the video. I'm just going to go through the drawing steps of drawing our pirate ship. So first we're going to do the ocean waves at the bottom. So to do this, we're going to make a U line like that. And notice I only left a little space there. And then I'm going to keep making U lines in a row. And they don't have to be exactly the same size. They can be a little bit different size. But I want U lines going all the way across. All right, so now we're ready to draw our pirate ship. So we're gonna actually start with the boat part first, and then we'll add the sail and the mast of the ship. So for the boat part, we wanna make sure we know how wide our boat's gonna be. So I'm gonna leave some space on each side to add some extra details up top. So I'm going to add a curved line here that curves down into my ocean. And then same thing on this side, except this time it's going to be a little bit taller. So see there, this one's a little bit taller than this side. So I curved down and down going into the ocean. So it should connect to your ocean line somewhere don't want a gap. All right, on this side, we're gonna add a curved hook line that hooks up like this. So I went up, but I didn't make a corner. I made a curved corner, not a pointy corner. And then I'm gonna add a straight line going across and it's going to go a little bit farther than this point. And I'm going to make another corner kind of like this one, like this, so it went down a bit farther. I'm going to continue this line and go straight across and then stop right there. So I have a space here between the edge of my boat and this line. Next I'm going to add some stairs or different levels of my boat. So I'm going to make a little line going up and then over and then up and then over. But this time my over line is going to go all the way over here. So here's my curve line I made that sticks out farther than this line. And I'm going to make a straight line that goes down and then stop when it's the same level as this so I can connect it with a line going across. Next I'm going to add basically the same line I just did but it's basically going to add the other layer of the ship. So I'm going to add a little line here and a little line on this side. And then I'm going to repeat the line I just did. And then we're going to add a detail here to the side of the ship. So we're going to add a spiral. So it's kind of, I'm going to start making a circle, but instead of making the circle, I'm going to swing it in and go around and around until I get to the center. And then just to show that there's some wood there, we're just gonna make a few lines going across, show that there's boards of wood. All right, now we're ready for our pirate's sail. So we're gonna do this shape first to make sure we get our sail big enough and then put the skull and crossbones in the center. 
So I want my sail to be pretty big, but I want to leave room at the top for the little crow's nest where someone could be a lookout and the flag. So I want to make sure I don't go too tall. I want to leave room up there. So I'm going to draw my top line first. So this is going to be in the center of my ship. I'm going to make a line going across. And I'm going to make a curved line that curves this way. And I'm going to stop before I get to my stairs down here. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then at the bottom, we're going to connect with a straight line going across. All right, once you have your sail, we're going to add the pole that it would connect to, or it's called the mast. So we're going to make it in the center if we can. So I think right there, I'm going to make a straight line going down. I'm going to leave just a little space and then make another one. Now I'm going to imagine that the pole is behind the sail. So I'm going to use my finger, kind of trace it would go up here, straight up, and then it'd come out this side and we're just going to see a tiny bit of it. And then same thing with this one, it would come out right about there. And I'm just adding a tiny little piece. Now we're going to add the crow's nest up here. This is where people could be on the lookout. So we're going to add a straight line that goes across like that. So it connects to the pole. Then we're going to add a diagonal line going out to the left, out to the right. Not all the way to the top of my paper though. I want to have room for one little flag up there if I can. So I did a diagonal line here and there. And then we're going to connect them with a straight line. And then we're going to add some diagonal lines. Next, I'm going to add a little flag at the top. So to do that, I'm just going to make the rest of my pole. So I'm going to imagine it's behind the crow's nest. And then I made it get a little bit smaller at the top, so it's more of a diagonal line a little bit. Then I'm going to add a circle on the top. I'm just going to add a little flag. So I'm going to do a curved line that goes up, down, and back up again. And then I'm going to connect it back. So I'm going to try and follow my same line so it's parallel. So that just means they don't touch and they're at the same angle if you can. All right, now we're going to add the skull and crossbones. So we're going to start with the head shape first. So this is going to be almost a circle or like a big rainbow line but you don't want to connect it at the bottom. So a big rainbow line or almost a circle, but there's a space down here. Then I'm going to add some little teeth marks. So I'm going to make a, a little line on the left and the right coming out of the bottom. And it's going to go straight across. So we're going to add a line going straight across. And then we're just going to add some little up and down lines to be like its teeth. For the nose shape, we're going to do a triangle, but it's going to be kind of curved. So like a candy corn shape. And then you can color that in. And then we're going to make some big oval eyes. And 
and then color those in. So I'm just coloring it in with my pencil for now. Eventually when you color the rest of this in, you could color this black with a marker or crayon or a color pencil. All right, so now we're ready to add the crossed bones in the back. So we're gonna start by making two lines, diagonal lines that are close together, coming out of the right top of its head. Then we're gonna add a curved kind of M. So two little arches that connect like that. Now we're gonna imagine this goes behind the head I'm not actually drawing a line. You can do this with your finger too. And then it's going to come out on this side. So there's going to be two more little bone lines. And then I'm going to add the same end. One last thing, if you want to add some simple little birds, um, these are kind of like flattened curve Vs in your background. Just make sure they're different sizes. So you have some small and some big ones. All right, we're all done drawing our pirate ship. So if you want to go back and color it in, this is how I colored mine. You can color it different. Um, if you want your sail to be a different color, it doesn't have to be black. Um, but usually pirate ships have black sails. And then I added a little black flag up there. That could be a different color. Um, I did my ocean blue and then a light blue sky background, but you can pick a different color too. It's your drawing. So however you want to color it in, that's fine. Hope you had a fun time drawing your pirate ship. Have fun coloring in the rest of it. Bye.